Hello everyone. Great to be here again. God bless you. God bless you. This is the Golden Treasure Hub and my name is Pastor Mrs. Ngozi Guzoro. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. And I know that the glory of God will shine upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We are still in the month of divine glory. And we know that God's glory is so much important in our lives and destiny. Amen. As we proceed, I would like us to commit ourselves to the hand of God and the program. Can we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, internal rock of ages, the invisible God, the immortal, the one who doeth all things, but he never lies, our Redeemer, our Savior, the one who knows all things, I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. We are here, oh God, in your presence. Manifest the power in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you, oh God. At the end, let glory be unto you and blessings be ours in Jesus' name. Take charge, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, amen, amen. Once again, you are welcome. Hallelujah. God has been so awesome, so wonderful unto our lives and destiny. We give him all the glory in the name of Jesus. Today we are going to be looking at God manifests his glory in different ways. And we are going to be taking our scripture from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 41. I will read. There is a glory and beauty of the sun, another glory of the moon, and yet another distinctive glory of the stars. And one star differs from another in glory and brilliance. Hallelujah. God's glory comes in different as, uh, perspectives. Hallelujah. And God's glory God's glory is the mag magnificence, magnificence of his many perfections. God's glory comes in different manner, in different ways. Hallelujah. Glory also can come per season. It can manifest in someone's life per season, per time. Hallelujah. Amen. Interestingly, God communicates his glory through his creation, through image bearers. You bear the image of God. We are made in his image and his own likeness. He is also, his glory manifests through his provision. His God of providence and his redemptive acts. That is the most important thing that could happen in the life of any man. Is redemption. So God manifests his glory through his redemptive action or acts. Hallelujah. The word glory seems to mean honor. It means fame. Also, it means distinction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So God's glory makes you fame, more especially on account of notable uh, achievements. Those things you have done that is so much pronounced. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today, you will become notable and famous in the name of Jesus. Because of the glory of God upon your life, your life will be notable. Your achievement must be pronounced. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Glory is the shining light that guides the way. Glory comes like a light. It comes shining, showing the way to go, guiding you. That is what glory is. And I pray for you and I, we shall not walk in darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, darkness will not be our portion and we will not walk into it. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. The glory of God appears as a cloud. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 12, 13. Exodus 13, verse 21 to 22, I read. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by the night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. Verse 22, he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. God guided their ways through his pillar of cloud and fire. Amen. The same thing today, God's presence, his glory, will lead us, will guide us in the name of Jesus. And when God's glory is upon us as a cloud, he will lead us, he will direct us the way to go. Hallelujah. The glory of God upon your life shall not elude you. In the name of Jesus, he will not elude me. He will not elude our family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, God's glory will always manifest in our lives and destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. In this journey of life, you will not miss your steps spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus because the God's glory will guide your way. You will not miss your steps in the name of Jesus. You will not walk into the chamber of evil unknowingly because the glory of God will always show you the way to go. Hallelujah. Amen. So the glory of God is like an oil with a charming fragrance or aroma that cannot be resisted. Amen. When you carry the glory of God upon your life, it's like a charming oil with a nice fragrance that can never be resisted. Hallelujah. If you check some flowers that have good aroma, you will see the flies with passion it because it will attract them. The same thing, the glory of God that is upon you will ease out to attract people to your life, positive people, and you will never be resisted because you carry the presence of God upon your life. The kind of aroma you carry determines the caliber and dignity of men and women that perches around you or around their domain. Amen. Have you ever experienced someone telling you at the first sight or meeting you in different occasions or time or season and they will say to you there is something there is something about you they may be seeing the glory. At times you may not notice it. But people afar will see it. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Meaning that the glory of God upon you. People are seeing it. You may not notice it like that. You may not know about it. But it's manifesting in your life. And I pray for you, you will discover it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It was the glory that Jesus was born with that triggers his tears to shoot out on the sky that caused the three wise men from the east to 
trace where a savior, a king was born. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So the glory he carries triggers the stars of your life. And it's the stars you carry that people begin to hunt about you. Amen. It's the glory of God upon your life. Amen. Star is different from a star. Some star shines brighter than others. Amen. If you look up to the sky, you will see different kind of stars manifesting, shining differently. The same thing, we have different stars we carry. Stars are different from stars. Amen. Some shines brighter than others. Hallelujah. Amen. When the three wise men of east saw that star, they have not seen it before. They knew that something, something spectacular has happened. A savior was born and a king was born. And through that star, they had to trace where he was born. Amen. Is it through your star that enemy will hunt about? But I pray for you and I. Your star will not be captured. Your glory will not be captured. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Glory is significant to stars of destiny. Glory is significant to stars of destiny. It's very, very important. It's very crucial for our life. Amen. And I prophesy to you, your glory will not be departed. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not see your glory and they will not see, they will not capture it in the mighty name of Jesus. We reject the spirit of Echabod in our lives and destinies. In the name of Jesus, we reject the spirit of Echabod, your destiny, your glory will not be departed. In the mighty name of Jesus, my glory will not be departed. In the name of Jesus, amen. When devil wants to attack, he's looking for the glory. And hence he captured the glory of a person. Automatically the star will, be, will, will never be seen. And that is the reason why the glory of your life will never be cut short. In the name of Jesus. Because when the enemy see that glory and capture it, automatically, the star of that person will never be seen. My prayer for you and I and your family is that the enemy will not see our glory. In the name of Jesus, our glory will be invisible in the eyes of the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We have different glories. We have different glories. Amen. For instance, your marriage has a glory. And because of the glory of your marriage, the enemy wants to step in, bring all sorts of things into your marriage. Because he has seen that this marriage carries glory i remember god instituted marriage and he honors money marriage so your marriage carries a glory and when you see crisis in your marriage knowing that the enemy want to capture the glory of your marriage and i pray they will never tamper with it in the name of jesus amen also, your family has a glory. Amen. And that is the reason why the devil is also putting all sorts in the, in the family. At times, it brings about sibling rivalry. At times, it brings about hatred within the family. 
At times it makes the family not to experience joy and peace. It because of the glory that family carries. And it begins to shoot arrows against the glory. Amen. You also, your business has a glory. Amen. Business glory is what makes customers, your clients, to be attracted to you. It's because of the glory in that business, in that career. And devil will not be happy seeing that glory to manifest in fullness. Amen. Because it's the glory in your business, in your career that brings profit to you. That makes you to prosper in that business, in that career. It's because of the glory of God in it. In as much as you're doing things that are aligned with the purpose of God in your life, the glory of that business, the glory of that career will manifest. Amen. What about your ministry? There's ministerial glory. When you are on assignment of God in your life, you will see the glory of God in it. You will see the hand of God in it. The presence of God will be much more in that ministry because that ministry has a glory. Remember, glory is the presence of God. Glory is honor. Glory is fame. Glory is distinction. Amen. And when the devil see all these things, he want to attack it. But you and I will never give room for the enemy to capture the glory of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray in all these things and many others. I pray in all these things we have mentioned, your marriage glory, your business glory, your career glory, your health glory, your finance glory. You will see the glory of God manifesting in those things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory is not what you can touch with your hands, but you can see the manifestation in magnitude. Amen. You may not touch it with your hands, but you notice it when it manifests in your life. Amen. So the glory of God must be in your life, in your destiny, in all that you do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know the level at which you know God and his word and the application is the level your destiny will be pronounced in all that you do. And that's the reason why you need to increase the level you know God. Because the level you know him determines that which level you are attained? Amen. So you must know God. And we are saying that God is the praise, is, is the glory in your life, is the manifestation of his presence in your life. So you need to do all that you could do to please God, to study his word. To obey his word, to apply his word, so that you manifest his glory in all you do. In the name of Jesus, God will help you and I. In Jesus' name, amen. So your glory and the light to your life and destiny shall not be dimmed. It shall not be put off. And it shall not be covered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your glory will not be put off. You will not be dimmed. In the name of Jesus, you will not walk out of the presence of God, knowingly or unknowingly. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you, challenges and circumstances will not hinder
tell you to be in God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what goes or comes around you, remain focused because the glory of God in your life will manifest. And when it manifests, it shall, it, 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 it shall be pronounced. It, it, people will see it. And men of God's them people will, will always be attracted to it. And your glory will not attract the evil ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is contrary and full of negativity will never see your glory and will never come nearer you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So you need the glory of God. You need the presence of God. Amen. Glory of God brings favor. It brings about open doors. Glory of God gives you access to the platform. Ordinarily, you will not attain. The glory of God will showcase you, showcase your business. The glory of God will make a way where there is no way. The glory of God will lead you into that business. If you are thinking about the business you, you, you go into, the glory of God will direct you, will lead you, just as he led the people of Israel. He led them in, in a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire to direct and to, light, to lighten their path. Amen. The glory of God will guide you into righteousness and into holiness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The glory of God is a, will, will be as a charming fragrance that will attract good things to your life. Amen and amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So glory of God is very, very important in the life of a child of God. And if you are not yet a child of God, I'm not saying you don't go to church. You must be set apart for God. Amen. So our key scripture for the month is in the book of Isaiah chapter 60. Chapter 60 verse 1 to 3. I will read it because that is our key scripture. And I believe God that as you study that chapter very well, you will see the manifestation of God's glory and power in your life. Amen. I will read from here. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 3. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light and came to the brightness of your rising. Amen. So you have to arise and shine because the glory of God has already risen upon your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And wherever you go, as a light, as someone who carries God's presence, that darkness will never come nearer you. Amen. Because Bible said, darkness and light, they cannot comprehend together. They can't be together. Hence, there is light in that place. Darkness automatically will disappear. Because you carry God's glory. You carry the light of God. 
Amen. Remember where we write today in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 41. The word of God said, There is a glory and beauty of the sun, another glory of the moon, and yet another, the distinctive glory of the stars. And what star differs from another in glory and brilliance? Amen. So there are different kinds of glory. And Bible say, stars, one star is different from another in glory and brilliance. The glory you carry may be different from another person's own. But I want you to understand that you need to arise and you need to shine. Let the glory of God be visible in your life. And let the glory of God in your life attract good people of God to you. Good customers, good clients, people of value, people of integrity, dignitaries. This is what the glory of God will do in your life. So I encourage you today, I encourage you to arise and shine because there is a glory of God in you. Do not allow anything to dim your glory. Do not allow anything to cause your glory to be departed. Amen. And I reject the spirit of Echabod in your life. I reject the spirit of Echabod in your business. Because at times, some people's business will start going down. The glory is being captured. Or the person is not doing the right thing. Amen. So let the glory of God upon your life shine brighter and brighter. Amen. And I pray for you, the glory of your marriage. If you are yet to be married, begin to pray for the glory of your marriage. If you are in it already, begin to pray that the glory of your marriage will not be captured, will not be tampered by the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, you need to pray for the glory of your business, your career, your job, your health. When you are in good health, you are manifesting God's glory. Amen. You are making it in your business. You are prospering. Financially, God is blessing you. That's glory. Your business glory, your finance glory. And I pray that the glory of God will be visible. The glory of God will pronounce you. The glory of God will, will define you. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God will be a distinction over your lives. In the name of Jesus, amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So whenever the devil wants to attack, he's attacking the glory. And hence the glory is being captured automatically the star of your life will never be seen. I told you what happened. When Jesus Christ was born, it was the glory that triggers the stars to shoot out on the, in the sky, which made the three wise men of East to trace him where he was born. And they knew that this kind of star is a, is a star that shows that a king, a savior, has been born. Amen. So you must, you must remain focused to serve God, to do the will of God, the commandment of God, the word of God. Because if you, you say you love God, you must love his word, you must obey his word. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray for you and I that God will help us. 
and the glory of God will continue to manifest in our lives and our destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory be to Jesus. We are going in for prayers shortly, but before we do that, I would like you, if you are under the sound of my voice, you are here to, you are here to embrace Christ into your life. I want you to know that this glory we are talking about may not be visible in your life. So before we go into prayers, I would like you to reconcile with your maker. Amen. Because that is the source of glory. Because the glory you are going to manifest is not your own making. It's through Jesus Christ that you can manifest glory. It's through Jesus Christ that you can be whatever you want to be according to the will of God. So I would like you to begin to invite God into your life. Begin to tell, say, Father, I thank you for giving your only begotten son as a sacrifice. To save me, Father, I ask for mercy and for forgiveness of my sin, sin of unbelief. And I ask that you should write my name in the book of life. Jesus, I surrender unto you. Accept me. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. And from today, I will continue to serve you. Thank you for accepting me. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory be to Jesus. As you have done that, that is the first step. Now, as you go into prayer, God will answer us in Jesus' name. Because we are going to pull our faith together to Call upon the name of the Lord concerning our glory. Amen. Now we lift up our voice and say, begin to appreciate God's glory in our lives and destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to appreciate this God. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for his glory in our lives, for his glory in our destinies, for his glory in our family, the glory of God in our businesses. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. In the name of Jesus. We cannot do anything without him. And that's the reason why Bible says enter into his presence with thanksgiving. We are thanking him because we know his glory that is upon us will, be, will remain internally. In the name of Jesus. He will not be departed. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank God for the glory of your business. The glory of your marriage. The glory of your family. Begin to thank God for the glory of your health, your finances. Begin to appreciate him. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your glory manifesting in our lives and destiny. We say thank you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6 says, since it is a righteous thing with God to repair with tribulation those who trouble you. Amen. You know, those who trouble you is those who doesn't like your glory. Those who, by all means, they want to destroy it. And God says, it is the righteous thing. It is, since it is a righteous thing with God, to repair with tribulation those who trouble you. I want you to lift up a voice and say, Oh Lord, trouble them that trouble me and let your glory manifest in my life and family. In the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, trouble them that trouble me and let your glory manifest in my life and family. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, trouble them, Oh God. That is attacking my glory. 
in the name of Jesus. According to Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, I want us to pray like this. I take authority and dominion over every negative power that is working against my glory and blessings in life. In the name of Jesus, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, I take authority and dominion over every negative power that is working against my glory and blessings in life. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I take authority over them. In the name of Jesus, I take authority and I dominate. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Say, my glory shall not be mistaken for evil now and forever. In the name of Jesus, my glory shall not be mistaken for evil now and always. In the name of Jesus, you, my glory, you shall not be mistaken for evil. Your glory shall not be mistaken for evil. Your children's glory will not be mistaken for evil. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let us begin to pray. I reject every spirit of Ichabod. I reject him in my life. I reject him in my family. I reject him in my business. I reject him in my career. I reject him in my ministry. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of Ichabod, I come against you by the power in the name of Jesus. My glory will never be departed. My glory will never be departed. In the name of Jesus, and my glory will never be resisted. In the name of Jesus, my glory will distinguish me. In the name of Jesus, my glory will make a way where there is no way for me. In the name of Jesus, I will not walk in darkness. You will not walk in darkness because the glory of the Lord will shine brighter and brighter like a light showing your way, moving you forward. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to begin to pray. Say, my glory, my glory. Reject manipulation. In the name of Jesus. My glory, the glory of my husband, the glory of my wife, the glory of my children, the glory of my business, the glory of my career, in the name of Jesus, will not be hijacked, will not be manipulated, will not be corrupted, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I declare and declare that your glory your glory will not be dimmed. I declare, declare, your glory will not be captured in the name of Jesus. Your glory will not be captured in the name of Jesus. Your glory will not be captured in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We also pray that the glory of the nation you represent will not be captured. In the name of Jesus, the glory of my nation, Nigeria, will not be hijacked. In the name of Jesus, the glory of the nation you represent and the nation of the world will not be hijacked in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because every nation has a glory. There is a glory for every nation. I will pray that the enemy will not tamper with the glory of our nation in the name of Jesus. And paraventure, the enemy had tampered with it. We declare restoration. Restoration of our glory as a nation. Restoration to our glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. I can see your glory manifesting much more than ever in the name of Jesus. The glory of your mother will continue to speak for you in the name of Jesus. The glory of our children will continue to speak for them anywhere they find themselves in this world. The glory of God upon them will continue to speak positively and attract good people to their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Unfriendly friend, they will not tamper 
with the glory of our children in the name of jesus even if you are a single under the sound of my voice you have to pray this prayer because one day you will get married the glory of your children will not be tampered so children's glory have been tampered right in the womb amen may the glory of your children unborn will never be tampered in the name of jesus the glory of that yeah, life partner, whatever he or she is, will never be tampered in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We bless your holy name. Because your glory will continue to distinguish us. Your glory will continue to shine upon us. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Throughout this week and beyond, your glory will manifest. People will not resist the glory of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus, your glory will attract good people of God. People that will, that will add value to your life. In the name of Jesus, you will never attract evil ones. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around, oh yeah, good. I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around, oh yeah, good. I can see everything turning around, hey, turning around. Hey, turning around, for oh, your yeah, good. I can see everything turning around. In your life, turning around. In my life, turning around, for oh, my yeah, good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can feel the presence of God. I can see and I can feel it. And I know you are seeing the same thing. The hand of the Lord is upon us because God is turning around everything for our good. In this week, you will see the glory of God manifesting. In the name of Jesus, you will retain the glory and beauty of God because the Lord will lavish you with his love and his care. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. You will continue to shine. You will continue to shine and radiate the glory of God. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. God bless you, everyone on this broadcast. The Lord loves you. The Lord will keep you and bless you and bless you the more. In the name of Jesus. So we see again by the grace of God. Continue to shine and radiate the glory of God. See you on top. Amen. Shalom. I love you all. God bless you. Amen.